Hi guys, so today I wanted to take you through my leg and booty day. So I'm starting off with a back squat. I'm elevating my heels here in order to get better squat depth. I'm trying to go as close as I can to the ground while pushing myself up and making sure that that form is on point. So that's the first set. I'm trying to go as deep as possible here, as you can see, I'm trying to keep the weight on my back and uh, force the weight up in order to have more strength to execute the movement. Um, so yeah, three sets of eight repetitions. This is the first set. The second set here is uh, the exact same movement. I've added a bit more weight. I think it was 10 uh, kilograms on each side. For set two, I'm also focusing on getting that squat depth. I'm strong enough to handle more weight, but if you're not 100% uh, ready for increasing the weight, stick to whatever weight you already have, but focus on driving up and down and working on that depth. For me, it is more depth. With the squat, the more I can activate the lower part of the glutes. And this actually looks really aesthetic. So I, I enjoy doing squats for this reason. And I also enjoy doing them deep and low for this reason as well. So the next uh, video, sorry, the next part of this workout is gonna be a squat as well. We're doing three sets of eight repetitions for the entire thing. I'm making sure throughout every single exercise here that I'm mentally focused. I'm also engaging the glutes, I'm engaging the core, and I'm making sure to really execute properly. This is how I train, and I always, always recommend that you train really and you take it very seriously. So yeah, I'm um, also trying to go as deep as I can. I have not added more weight. I found that this weight was challenging enough. I'm going for another eight repetitions, pushing myself up, uh, ground up to execute every single movement. So. The next exercise of this leg and booty day is a split squat. I'm doing three sets of eight repetitions on each leg. Here I'm holding the dumbbells. Uh, I think they're like 16 kilograms in total, but you choose whatever weight works for you. Do it your best, give it your all. Make sure to scoop and squeeze um, in order to facilitate glute growth. So you really need to be engaged with the muscle that you are trying to grow. We don't want to take any risks. You don't want to grow any other body part. Uh, or worst case, even waste your energy without having that 100% maximal focus on, on what you're trying to achieve. You would do this regardless of what sport you are doing. You would do this um, with whatever you are doing. So weight training also requires that exact same focus. Okay, so the next exercise is also going to be a split squat. I'm, doing, I'm going for set two, making sure to drive up with my heels, making sure to squeeze and uh, yeah, uh, that's all there is for this exercise and this movement. Just make sure to stay focused and give it your all. If I could give you one more cue for the split squat, it would be to feel the stretch. So as you're leading in, feel that stretch on the way up. The next exercise of this workout is a hip thrust. Here, I am doing three sets of 12 repetitions. I'm making sure to squeeze up, kind of scoop, and by scoop, I mean interior, that tuck my pelvis in and I make it face the back of the room, if that makes sense. This small um, cue kind of gets more hip activation from me, but it doesn't have to work that way for everybody, as long as you are focused on your hips uh, as glutes are an extension of the hips. So drive those hips all the way forward. So this is set number two of the hip thrust. The hip thrust is great for, for growing the glutes because it gets the hips at full extension, meaning the more that you can have uh, your hips engage in the particular movement, the more it can grow. And definitely you need to focus on getting that form correct in order to engage it in a way that's going to be productive rather than counterproductive. So safety is first for that reason. Pick a weight that you are comfortable at and make sure to engage with the weights and your muscles. I always say focus on the muscle, not the weight, for the very reason that you have to be um, as focused as you can with training. There is no one way and it's completely subjective. So you need to have one aim, you need to have one goal throughout every movement, execute properly as if somebody was watching and that way you're able to be more objective. So yeah, that's a good tip that I've used in some of my training. Pretend like somebody is there and as they would judge your form, judge yourself in that way. Be very, very honest and realistic. So the final exercise is a banded hip abductor. I'm doing three sets of 20 repetitions. Here I'm squeezing the hips uh, laterally outside. But how I do this is I focus on the side glute and I focus on extending it 
uh, to the back of the room in order to have more flexibility. And I make sure to squeeze at full flexibility. This way that my hips feel like they're really, really engaged, therefore they will grow more. I see more progress when I'm really this serious and this laser focused, also this intuitive with my training. I always recommend that you push yourself hard to be serious. Um, and I definitely will uh, recommend this movement at the end as a burnout. And if you wanna go heavier with this, absolutely go ahead and do it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this workout and I'll see you guys next week.